How do you know that he didn't? How do you know that Travis Kelsey didn't buy an engagement ring? I don't know. Do you know? Are you going to break some big news here? I'm just saying you said that he didn't <laughs> buy an engagement ring, and I'm just whoa, wondering how you whoa, had that information. Whoa, whoa. Hey, everyone. Taylor Swift just shared some big news about her relationship with Travis Kelsey. Things are getting hotter in the best way possible. The two kept their relationship mostly under the radar for a year, but now Taylor has finally talked about her time with Travis. It looks like they are still together and their relationship is about to grow into something even bigger. The couple has had a long journey, but they have been able to keep things pretty quiet despite all the attention from the media. The most recent news about Taylor has fans excited and guessing. It looks like things are getting even more serious, and if the hints she's dropped are any indication, we might hear wedding bells soon. It's clear that both Taylor and Travis are excited about what's next as we look into what Taylor said and what this might mean for their future. Now let's look into the specifics and find out what everyone is talking about with these two and how well they seem to fit together. People are talking more and more about how Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey might be getting engaged, which is very interesting. Still, rumors are going around that the Grammy-winning superstar may have said yes, and the latest comments from Adam Schefter, an NFL insider for ESPN, have only made the rumors stronger. Laura Rutledge, the host of NFL Live on August 26, said that Kelsey had been in the news recently for buying a racehorse named Swift Delivery, but he hadn't been seen with an engagement ring. Schefter, who isn't afraid to stir things up, couldn't help but join the conversation. I have a question, he said, clearly adding to the mystery what makes you sure Travis Kelsey didn't buy a ring for her. As Schefter questioned Rutledge, he caught him off guard and asked for more information. The awkward silence right there speaks volumes. <laughs> Shefty, do you know something, Shefty? America wants to know. About to make us go viral, Shefty. All I Shefty. did was ask a question about how Laura knew he had him bought an engagement ring. That's all I was doing. I, you know what? I'm going to go back and rewatch this and analyze everything that your face does, Adam. For now, we're going to go to some more actual news. He made it clear that all I did was ask how Laura knew he hadn't bought an engagement ring. That's all I was doing, even though he tried to play it down. The moment has made people even more interested and curious about what this famous couple might do next. But the NFL Live panelists weren't going to let Schefter's vague comment go without looking into it more. Booger McFarland and Andrew Hawkins jumped in to ask Schefter for more information because they could feel the tension in the air. That awkward silence right there says a lot, Schefter McFarland said with a smile, enjoying the moment. Schefter, do you know something? America wants to know Hawkins added, adding to the fun questioning. Schefter did say what was going on. Is this story more complicated than what we're hearing? Schefter could only smile and avoid the attention when he was in the spotlight. He kept his cool and said, I'm just asking questions, folks. There is no insider information here. Though the fact that he wouldn't say anything more added to the rumors. The conversation turned into a lively argument among the panelists. Schefter may or may not know more about the relationship between Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. Everyone is eager to read between the lines and figure out any possible clues. One thing is for sure, though the talk about this famous couple isn't going away anytime soon. After McFarland's direct question, there was a palpable hush in the studio as everyone waited for Schefter to answer. Even though people were getting more interested, Schefter stuck to what he had said before and strongly denied having any insider knowledge. He said it again and again, stressing that his only role in the drama was to ask questions. As his co-hosts kept making fun of him, the tension in the studio only got worse. Laura Rutledge, who was clearly having fun with the conversation, made one last hopeful plea to Schefter break news for the Swifties were all waiting here Schefter kept his cool on camera, but he couldn't help but give one last hint. Boog I am going to call you later, I am going to call you later. Boog he joked implying that he might have information that wasn't public but kept the specifics to himself. The love story between Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey has caught the attention of both Swifties and NFL fans. Since they met last year, Taylor, 34, has been a visible fan at several Kansas City Chiefs games and Travis, also 34, has made the rounds to attend Taylor's era tour concerts. His dedication was so strong that he even joined her on stage in June for a memorable performance. When he talked to the Wall Street Journal in November, Travis went on and on about how much he admires Taylor being with her. He said that seeing how smart Taylor is has blown his mind. He said, Every day I learn something new fans are still crazy about their relationship and they can't wait to see what happens next for this dynamic pair. 
fans know it's happening. It was brought up on X, and this event happened two weeks later. Taylor later confirmed that they had been dating for a long time before that. Since they took things slowly, you might not think they'll get engaged. Someone else said, I'm sure they're either engaged or they ran away together. Travis works with Robert Taylor's tour manager, so they are both family at work. But there's a rumor that these two are really thinking about it because they have undeniable chemistry and their public displays of love have made them the talk of the town. But Kelsey is reportedly being cautious and planned in her approach to their whirlwind romance, despite how glamorous she seems. According to people who are close to the NFL star, he cares deeply about his relationship with Swift, but he is also being smart about their future together. It's not a surprise that Kelsey is putting a high priority on financial security, given how rich and famous both of them are. People think that a prenuptial agreement is important in this situation because it will help protect his assets if their relationship goes to the next level. Both Kelsey and Swift are very successful financially and well-known. A prenup would not only add an extra layer of protection, but it would also make sure that any problems that might come up in the future are clearly explained from the start. Their relationship keeps making news and starting conversations. Kelsey's behavior shows a mix of romantic excitement and practical foresight. It's a lot further along than Taylor and Travis would like to admit. They've been thinking about getting married for a while now, and are both fully committed to spending the rest of their lives together and starting a family. Life and Style got information from a source. They say that Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift are getting closer to getting married, but they won't do it without a deal. The formalities are just their busy schedules and the logistics of a prenup, which is made more difficult by the huge amounts of money involved on both sides, they said. This pretty strict deal might make their love story a little less sparkly. The media and fans alike are still very interested in Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey's relationship. It's clear that everyone is following their progress with great interest. Recently, there has been talk that the couple might be thinking about getting a prenuptial agreement because they have a lot of money and personal assets. You should remember that these kinds of choices are a normal part of making plans for your future together, even though they are very personal and often depend on your own circumstances. Like many other parts of a relationship, a prenuptial agreement is a personal choice made by the people involved. It shows that they want to protect their own interests while navigating the complicated parts of their public lives. Things like this should stay private, but what really matters is that Taylor and Travis are happy and in love with each other. Any way you look at it, we're thrilled about their engagement and the wonderful future they have ahead of them. Many people have found happiness and inspiration in their relationship. As they take this big step together, we wish them all the best of luck and happiness wishing them the best on their journey and all the wonderful times to come. When I think of Travis and Taylor, I can't help but smile, especially since their relationship has grown so much in the last few years. When I think back, it's clear that they were building something special, there was a spark from the start. One that seemed to get brighter every time they laughed together, talked about important things, or went on a little adventure together. We've all seen how they've been there for each other through good times and bad, celebrating each other's wins and comforting each other when things were hard. It's been almost like watching a love story play out right in front of our eyes, how real and easy their connection has been. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the box below. To be the first to see my next video, click the subscribe button and the bell icon.